To make a successful photo manipulation, we need to put four things in place. Number one is contrast. Number two is perspective. Three is color grading. And number four is the shadow. Sunji again from Caesar Graphics. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create an album art. So if you need the exercise file, simply make use of the link in the description section of this tutorial. So let's dive into today's tutorial. I'm going to create a new document now because we can't have the project without having a new document. So I'm going to call this album arts. So because I'm not printing this, I'm going to make my, my width 800 and height is going to be 800, right? So I'm going to make my resolution 72. Now, the reason why I'm using this frame size is because I'm planning to post this on social media. Okay. So, so then I'm going to click on the create button and I'm going to drag my background and drop here and I'm going to hit the enter key. Then I'll drag the uh, image of the car and drop here. And this should be here. Like, so we can even make this a bit bigger. All right. And um, yeah, so I'm going to just hit the enter key here. Like so and drag the image of my um, character here and this should be somewhere here we can even still make it smaller all right i'm gonna make it smaller if you check the reflection on the bumper of the car here you realize that we have the grass from the background of the um car image all right so we need to blend out with the um the color of the project okay so another cool thing about this you know reflection is that um you know i like the fact that we have all this texture on it this texture is going to connect with the texture on the road all right so i'm going to um select the layer of the canna and go to my adjustment tab here now if you can't find your adjustment tab simply go to windows and activate it here so i'm going to select hue saturation here and i'm going to zoom in so I'm going to move my screen to this side here because I am going to use this color here as the reference to the color I'm going to change the texture to. So then I'm going to click on this icon here and I'm going to just click on this color here and I'm going to click on the clip icon because I only want this to affect the, you know, the car, the car and not the entire project. All right. So then I'm going to move from um, here. I'm going to move this down like so. All right. Now, when you're moving this, you need to be careful not to move it to the point where you're going to start losing the color on the project. Okay. So I'm going to move here like so. All right. And um, let's see if I move this here. Let's see what this is going to come up with. All right. So I'm going to move this here. All right. And um, let's see if I move to this side. Let's see. Then this should be this should go now, and I want this to extend a bit, so I'm just gonna move this out here, so and move this here, and this can be here. Now you see we're beginning to achieve the color from the from the background, right? So I'm gonna move this here, and I think this is making sense already. All right, yeah, this is beautiful. So um, yeah, so I think I'm okay with this for now. For my subject here, I'm going to go to filter here and select sharpen here and hit the on sharp mask. All right, then I'm going to just, you know, add depth to the image. All right, then I'm going to select the OK button. All right, then I'm going to activate curve adjustment and just click uh, on the clip icon because I only want this to affect the layer of the subject. And I'm going to move this down to just do the S curve. They should go up now please avoid making the layer of your subject dark because making it dark is not going to help all right then i'm going to click on the layer of the dude again and just go to levels here and just increase the brightness you know like i said making it too dark is not going to help all right so i am going to move this here and just move this here and i think this is okay i need to just cover this stuff here so i'm going to use the shape tool all right and i'm going to zoom in and just draw a shape here all right and i'm going to turn this off and use black and i'm going to draw another shape here just to cover the name on the plate number all right so the next thing we're doing now is to add shadow because the adding of the shadow is what is going to give life to the project so let's continue all right, so I'm going to start with the car. All right, and I'm going to create a new layer and just call this shadow. 
okay so the idea of adding the shadow to the car is because if you look at the image it looks as if the car is too close to the ground all right so i want to be able to i want to create more distance so part of how you know what you achieve this on your photo manipulation project is through shadow all right so i'm going to show you how i always do that so i'm going to select the pen tool now all right and i'm going to zoom in mm -hmm. uh before i even do that let's just move the project up we're going to move everything off so i should selected all the layers and i'm going to move this up right here like so okay and i'm going to zoom in and then i'm going to just draw a shape here with my pen tool now make sure you're on the sh on the um, shadow layer and i'm going to just click right here all right and i'm going to come right here okay and i'm going to put this here like so so i'm holding on space as i move my um hand around okay so boy if you want to learn more about how to use the pen tool i have a tutorial on that on my youtube channel okay so then i'm going to move this in all right and yeah i think this is okay now let's move this here and still go back to the pen tool and just close this okay then i'm going to change the color to black now guys don't forget before drawing your shape make sure this is set to shape not part okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this off because we don't want the stroke on it now i'm going to right click and rasterize the layer so i'll go to blur and select gaussian blur here and um yeah so i'll leave my blur strength to be 1.5 all right and yeah this is good so if i zoom out now we have uh, this but i think i still need to make this a bit uh, more you know smaller so i'm going to activate the free transform on it and just hold on shift if you're using the photoshop version i'm using which is photoshop 2020 so i'm going to hold on shift and click here and drag this in like so and just push this in right about here okay what i'm going to do is for the shadow under the dude here i'm going to click on the hue saturation first let's just close this excuse me. i'm going to create a new layer and call this dude shadow all right then i'm going to select the pen tool again now make sure that your option here is set to shape and i'm going to use no fill for now and this is going to be on let's say orange so i can see the color of my stroke all right so then i'm going to click here then click here and just click here and i'm going to click here so and put this here then i'm going to hold on out and click to break the um uh, point here and hold on out again and break the handle again not the point is the handle and then this should be here should be here and this should be here then i'm gonna close it all right then i'll change this to no fill and this should be all black all right uh yeah so then i'm gonna right click on the layer again and rasterize it and go to filter again and then go to blur and hit the gaussian blur option and this shadow need to be a bit you know smaller compared to the first one oh let's just make it 1.5 and i'm going to set it okay button all right then i'm going to create another shadow again because i still want to create that distance shadow so i'm going to call this distance then i'll select the brush tool then i'll make sure that my flow here is set to 12. adjusting your flow strength help you with controlling the strength of your brush all right so um so for this my shadow i think it's too strong so i'm going to reduce the opacity a bit okay just the opacity a bit and i uh, can now um you know add the shadow here now make sure that your foreground is set to black all right don't forget make sure it's set to black so i'm just going to apply the shadow here like so and just apply another shadow here
so i think i over applied it here so i'm going to hit the razor tool and make sure that i'm on the soft round brush here and just take this out now please guys i almost forgot please when applying your brush please make sure that your the brush your brush tip is soft brush all right make sure you're using the soft brush when you're applying the brush to the layer all right so uh yeah that's for that on this and uh, let's see the before and after all right so uh for this i'm still gonna use the razor to, to just you know fix some things here so i think this is okay for now all right now for this side here it seems to add more brush to this so i'm gonna select the brush tool now make sure that you have your brush selected and just apply the brush to the project itself so for this side, I'm just going to apply the brush again. Just apply the brush here. So what I'm going to do now is to um, create the reflection of this sand here and put it on the bumper of the um, the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be on the hue saturation here and I'm going to create a new layer by holding on Alt and click on the new layer icon and call this dust reflection so then i'm going to select the pen tool and make sure that my option here is set to part all right then i'm going to click and draw a shape here so the whole idea of doing this is to help our brush not to go outside the bumper of the car all right so I'm going to change this to a marquee now by clicking on this selection button here to convert it to a marquee. And I'm going to leave the setting the way it is and click the OK button. And then I'm going to select the brush tool and increase my brush size. Then I'm going to sample a color from, from here by holding on Alt and click the color from the ground. We need to increase our flow back to, let's say, 60 C's. And I'm just going to apply that here and reduce the brush size. All right. And just apply that here like so okay so then i'm gonna hit ctrl d on my keyboard to deselect the marquee and see we have this now we're beginning to create that unity on the project i'm going to add dust to the project by holding on alt and click on the new layer icon again and call this dust okay then i'm going to hit the ok button select the brush tool and increase my brush size now make sure you're on the soft round brush when doing this and i'm going to make my flow let's say 30 it should be 30 all right and i'm just going to apply that again now you see we're beginning to create that dust effect to the project all right so i'm going to do that here like so all right so we're almost getting to the end of this tutorial so we're going to be using camera raw to do the color grading so let's continue we need to stamp visible the project so i'm going to hold down ctrl shift alt and e to do that and then i'm going to call this cam and raw then i'll convert this to a smart object all right now the idea of converting it to a smart object is just in case you're not satisfied with the um color grading on the project you can just easily double click on the camera roll to just go back and fine tune it and that's the advantage of converting your layer to a smart object so then i'll go to filter now and hit camera roll filter so i'm going to go under basic here and just you know increase the make the temperature um yellow all right now i'm going to make the temperature plus four here and for my contrast here i'm just going to dial that up just so as to you know make the um you know the shadow on the project more pop and for the highlight i'm just going to reduce that a bit like so all right and um for the shadow i'm going to increase this i'm going to make the shadow um plus 12 and uh for my texture i'm not going to touch anything there and i'm going to increase the vibrance so as to make the colors pop all right and uh let's go straight to the uh details here so i'm going to hash sharpen to the project so as to add more contrast to the pixels all right so i'm going to increase the sharpening and then i'm going to add i'm going to go straight to the color mixer so under my color mixer here i'm going to increase the blue all right i'm going to increase the blue so as to just make the blue on the project more pop and for my orange here i'm just going to reduce that a bit all right we need to reduce the orange a bit because you know the orange on the project is too strong and then for this side of the car i'm going to reduce the red then then let's see uh yeah so i'm going to close this and then for the effect here i'm going to add more grain which is noise so i'm going to make this um 20 percent here and um for my variant i'm just going to add the two variant to the project and then i'm going to select the ok button all right this is the after and this is the before you see this is beautiful so let's add our text so i'm going to go with 
start with the text tool here. So I'm going to click once and then I'm going to um, type the name of the artist, which is Simon. I'm going to hit Ctrl H to select the text and then change this to white. And I'll go to my bro to my property tab here and make sure that the font, the character I'm using is a vertical and my style is going to be on bold. And then I'm going to activate the free transform on it because I really want this to take the whole space here all right then i'm going to hit the enter key now and close the space between the letters so i'm going to use the tracking here to fix that all right and then i'm going to activate the free transform again on the same layer and then i'm going to hit the enter key now this is covering the face of our subject and uh, we are going to fix that so to do that i'm going to hold down control and click on the thumbnail of the dude layer here and i'm going to select the layer mask button here i'm going to hit ctrl i on my keyboard now and to reverse the mask okay so then i'm going to change my blend mode here to overlay all right and reduce the opacity a bit all right not too much all right then i'm going to put the name i'm going to put the title of the album here by calling it um, next chapter so then i'm going to take away the tracking here let's make it a bit bigger all right so the other thing i think I, i'm also i also need to fix here is the balloon from the background so i'm going to activate the pen pen tool here and just you know crop this like so all right so i'm going to click on the selection button here and then click on the ok button again then i'm going to create a new layer and call this uh, bg field and then i'm going to pick a color from here hit the ok button and hold on alt and apply the color from my foreground here which is the color at the top here and hit ctrl d to deselect the layer and um, we can even you know blend this so i'll use the eraser tool and increase my brush size and then just gently apply this here now you see we're beginning to see the part of the balloon again so i'm going to select the brush tool i'm going to reduce my brush size and then hold on alt hold on alt and pick a color from the background and then i'm going to use my brush to just blend this back like so all right this is beautiful okay so now if i zoom out we have this the last part on this project is to add a fade effect to the to you know the project so i'm going to use selective color to do that and i'll go straight on the, my colors here and choose uh black all right so i'm going to move this back a bit like so you see we're beginning to have that faded effect or feel on the project and um, we are going to stop here i'm glad you made it to the end of this tutorial if you are able to achieve any project with the help of this tutorial simply post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me and also remember to hit the subscribe button so you get notified when i post my tutorials share like and comment on this video and i'll see you in the next one Peace.